everyone. I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. I have an absolutely beautiful stitch for you today called the Nesting V Stitch, which you can see here in front of you. You can work this stitch in one color or you can work it in multiple as I've done here. I find the multiple really brings out the design in it quite well. It creates a fairly thick fabric but one that's not too dense. It has a little bit of stretch to it uh, and lots of drape if it's worked in a larger piece. It is similar on the back as it is on the front and it's created by working simple V stitches that are worked into the spaces two rows below. So I'm going to show you exactly how to work this stitch today. Today I'll be using three different colors of my Pima Cotton Yarn by Lion Brand. My color A will be this blue color. Uh, color B will be the gold. And then the brown for my color C. This is a worsted weight, 100% cotton yarn. You're also going to need a 5 millimeter crochet hook. And you can find links to each of these items in the description of this video. Also in the description of the video, you'll find a direct link to the free written pattern that is on my blog at richtexturescrochet.com. So thank you so much for joining me. Be sure to say hi down in the comments. I would love to also hear how you would use this stitch in a project and what you think once you try it out. For this stitch today, we're going to work it in rows. So start by taking your color A, which again is my blue color, and uh, as well while you're here don't forget to subscribe to the, my channel. So we're going to start with our color A. You'll start by making a slip knot and then by working a foundation chain. Your foundation chain will need to be a multiple of three stitches plus one. So today I'm going to chain a total of 25. and 25. Once you have your foundation chain worked, you're going to begin row one by working a V stitch into the fifth chain from your hook. So count in one, two, three, four, five. Into this fifth chain you're going to work one double crochet, chain one, and work another double crochet into the same stitch. This is your V stitch. You're then going to skip the next two stitches and work another V stitch into the next stitch. So double crochet, chain one, and double crochet into the same stitch. You're going to repeat that all the way in across until you have two stitches remaining. At the end of row one you've come all the way across you have two stitches remaining. If you are going to work uh, in multiple colors this is where you're going to want to change colors but uh, to end this row you're simply going to skip the next stitch and then work a double crochet into your final stitch. How I like to change colors is I like to yarn over with my color A, insert my hook into that final stitch, yarn over, drop a loop, yarn over and pull through two loops. You can then drop your color A, pick up your color B and place it on your hook. and you can then simply pull it through to complete the stitch. You can then chain two in your new color and turn your work. We're now going to continue working V stitches. This time when we work them we're going to work over the chain one space and into the same stitch on the foundation chain that you worked your next V-stitch. So yarn over, 
bring your hook over that chain one space into the same chain stitch that you worked your next v-stitch in the row below insert your hook yarn over draw up your loop and you'll want to draw your loop up to about the height of a half double crochet yarn over pull through two yarn over and pull through two more chain one double crochet once again down into that same chain on the foundation chain as the next v-stitch you're going to repeat that all the way across so again into the same chain and on your foundation chain as the next v-stitch insert your hook double crochet chain one and double crochet repeat that all the way across so I've now worked all the way across in my color B I'm come to the end of my row and I have this turning chain here I'm simply going to work a half double crochet into the turning chain I would like to switch to my color C so I'm going to do that in this stitch because it's a half double crochet yarn over insert your hook under the turning chain yarn over drop a loop drop your color B pick up your color C place it on your hook and then pull through chain two and turn your work we're now going to continue working V stitches this time when we work our V stitch we're going to be working it into the chain one space of the V stitch two rows below so that's our V stitch that we worked in our color A which is our blue color here so for this next row you might have to pull it up a little bit because you want to work under it so over the chain space of the V stitch in the last row and into the space two rows below insert your hook you want to make sure you're working between the two double crochet stitches in the v-stitch chain one and repeat down into that chain one space you're going to repeat this all the way across so again over the chain one space pull up the chain one space of the v-stitch two rows below you don't want to work into the foundation chain which might have pulled up as you were working again you're pulling up your double crochets to about the height of a half double crochet and repeat repeat this all the way across for your row three at the end of your row three when you come across under that chain two that turning chain two simply work a half double crochet again you're going to switch back to your color A if you would like so yarn over insert your hook your, uh, drop a loop yarn over drop a loop drop your color C pick up that color A place it on your hook and pull through so I'm just going to be pulling my colors gently up the side and then later on I would uh, work an edging over top chain two and turn your work for row four we're going to switch up the pattern a little bit we're going to start by working a double crochet stitch we're going to work that double crochet stitch in between the turning chain and the next double crochet or the first double crochet uh, two rows below so we're working under our color B yarn over insert your hook just in that space between the chain two and the first double crochet stitch yarn over drop a loop to the height of a half double crochet yarn over pull through two and yarn over and pull through two we're now going to be working V stitches in the space between the V stitches two rows below so we're going to continue working under the yellow color under our color B in between the v-stitch so we have a v-stitch here double crochet chain one double crochet and then we have another v-stitch so we're working in between the v-stitches and you're going to in that space work a v-stitch so yarn over work a double crochet 
I'm inserting my hook under that color B of row two and working one V stitch. You're going to skip the next V stitch and repeat working a V stitch in the space between the next two, two rows below. Repeat that all the way across. At the end of your row four, you're going to come to your final V stitch. We want to work one final double crochet uh, in the space two rows below between the half double crochet and that double crochet. So again, just under that color B between the double crochet and the last half double crochet. Work your double crochet stitch. And then you want to work one final half double crochet stitch and you might have to pull it out a little bit under that turning chain two of the previous row. So if it's uh, pulled under like mine has, you might just need to pull it out a little bit, work your final half double crochet. You're going to switch to your color B. So I'm dropping my color A, picking up color B, pulling it through just like so. Chain two and turn your work. For row five, just like your previous row, working down two rows below in between the double crochet and your chain two, it can be a little tricky to see, you're going to work your first double crochet stitch. You're then going to work in between the uh, next V uh, in the next V stitch, sorry. So over top of your chain one and into the space two rows below. So here I'm going to be working under the color C. Okay, into that space, insert your hook and work a V stitch. So you're working through over top of the chain one of the V stitch in the previous row, but in between the two uh, V stitches of the row two rows below, if that makes sense. <laughs> you're going to repeat that all the way across. So working over the next chain one space into the space between the next two V stitches, two rows below, work a V stitch. and repeat that all the way across. At the end of row five, you come to the end and uh, you have worked into your final V stitch. You're going to finish off by again, in between the next double crochet and the last half double crochet, work a double crochet stitch. And then finish off with a half double crochet into the final chain two, turning chain. Uh, you can then switch to your color C. I'm gonna go back a step here, pick up my color C, drop that color B, chain two, and turn your work. For your row six, double crochet in between the double crochet and that starting chain two, and then into the center of your next V-stitch working over top of the chain one and into the chain one space of the V-stitch two rows below under your color A, work a V-stitch. Repeat that all the way across. 
So into over the next chain one space and into the chain one space of the V-stitch two rows below. Work a V-stitch, repeat that all the way across. At the end of your row six, you'll come to your final stitch. You're going to want to kind of pull them apart if you need to. Double crochet into that space between uh, the final two stitches of the row two rows below. And then half double crochet into the starting, uh, the turning chain two, switching back to your color A in the process. Chain two and turn your work. You should be really seeing the pattern come out now and it's going to continue in these next few rows. So what you're going to do now for row uh, seven with color A working in the space between the first two V stitches. So that space is actually the space between this double crochet and this next V stitch. So in between those next two V stitches, two rows below, you're going to work one V stitch. And you're going to repeat that across. So skip the next V stitch into the space between the next two V stitches, two rows below, work a V stitch. Repeat that all the way across. At the end of row seven, you've come all the way across. You're simply going to half double crochet into the space between that double crochet and the turning chain. Uh, while you do this, you're going to drop your color A and then pick up your color B. Placing it on your hook and pulling through. For row eight, you're going to chain two and turn your work. We're now going to continue working a V stitches across this time, working over top of the chain one space and into the space down below between the double crochet and the next V stitch, work one V stitch. So two rows below again. And you're going to repeat that all the way across, working over top of the next chain one space and into the space below between the next two V stitches, two rows below, work one V stitch. Repeat all the way across. At the end of your row eight, when you come across half double crochet in the final turning chain, switching to your color C. Chain two and turn your work. And that's it for the repeat in this pattern. And I realize it was a lot to take in with eight rows, but from here on end, you're simply going to repeat rows three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So rows three through to eight for as long as you would like. Fasten off, weave in your ends. And uh, that's it for this beautiful nesting V stitch. So thank you so much for joining me once again. I invite you to subscribe, give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and I look forward to seeing you again next week for another great stitch tutorial. Until then, happy crocheting. Bye.